Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I thought I'm gonna show you my watch collection for today is March 2017 and uh, I was just playing with my watches, got a new strap and uh, I like the way it looked so I uh, figured let's let's do a collection with you um, uh, like you know uh, the collection for me is uh, traveling and experiencing as many watches as possible I can because of the I do YouTube videos but also uh, I like to I like to experience and I like to move move forward so I like to move forward with my collection and when I first started uh, this I never thought I would have two bright wings in my collection and now I do so it's kind of it's kind of ridiculous to me but I like it and uh, I can think of worse ways to spend your money than on watches and all of these watches uh, they may seem expensive and whatnot but I all, I've traded my way up I moved forward I had to sell I had to sell a lot of pieces to get some of the other pieces but um, I'm quite happy now where I am so I uh, figured I'm gonna show you some of my watches here so first I'm gonna start with the first watch this is the first watch uh, that started all this thing and in my collection videos you will always see see it here So, like you can see, this is a Seiko 5, and Seiko 5, uh, this Seiko 5 was gifted to me by my father, and uh, this is a watch that started all this madness. I loved, I always loved watches, I always liked watches, uh, but once I got this one, uh, I googled it, uh, did my research, and learned about watches discover the watch knob and forms and everything and it will always be a uh, special uh, in my collection it will always have a place in my collection uh, unless something happens to it but I don't think it won't uh, this is a, just a simple Seiko vintage Seiko 5 with a plexi crystal but I absolutely love it it's super lightweight super crappy bracelet um, model S7009 so this is a pre S, uh, 7S26 and I think this is a better movement than S7S26 so the second watch in my collection is one of my all-time favorite watches uh, this is uh, Orient Blu-ray and I've been asked about uh, why don't you get a new version, new updated version but the truth is I was thinking about it you can easily sell this one and upgrade to the new movement uh, but I like the charm of this one I like the charm of the crown here and it just really sets apart the watch and I don't think I would love this piece as much uh, without the second crown and uh, that's one of the reasons and secondly I have uh, sentimental issues <laughs> I don't I have sentimental value to me so I really love it and I traveled a lot with this watch it's been with me on many occasions and uh, you can you can see the bull dial here I have to use my flashlight because it appears black until the you hit the sunshine or something like that and um, I put it on a, this strap and this is a the Sari strap from Strapsco uh, and uh, this is uh, just I think this look uh, this looks very nice and I just I'm just keeping it like this and this is a very nice strap you can find it on Strapsco and I just enjoy it even though this watch will work on any strap you put on it now I have next watch I have is Brightwing and this is when I first got this watch I thought this is not a keeper because it's quartz and this is a watch I can easily flip make some money and invest in, in the next piece but 
when I got it, it was on this terrible uh, shark uh, blue needle. Um, it's not a needle, it's a bracelet, but it's, you can see it's all beat up and dirty and whatnot. So I decided to refresh the watch and I got this. Uh, let me just show you the watch here up close and personal. Uh, and I got the strap from Sectime UK. And uh, it's a blue os ostrich. Uh, I think it's called Amsterdam Blue. And they will ship worldwide. And this strap uh, make this watch uh, so much more nicer and more beautiful. And I decided to wear it and I'm not gonna sell it for cheap because this strap made it look great again. Um, sound familiar? Huh? Uh, but this is a, let me just show you the watch. This is a gorgeous, uh, somewhat vintage Breitling from the 90s and it's, this is a quartz piece but it's a super cool quartz, has a central minute register uh, and uh, it's a yachting J-class, it's J stand, J-class is for uh, yachts, with some vintage yachts from the 30s and it's just a gorgeous watch, it's a fun summer piece uh, and uh, definitely one of the great bargains uh, with Brightwings and the thing with Brightwing is that People uh, don't like Breitling, but uh, on the second-hand market, it offers great bang per buck and great value. And uh, one thing, to whoever didn't like Breitling, uh, myself included, I didn't like Breitling. But when you once you get it, once you handle it, uh, you change your mind. The watch makes you change your mind. And speaking of that, uh, let me just show you my next Breitling I have. And this is the watch, uh, this is the Brightwing Crosswind and this is the watch that changed my mind about Brightwings and the reason that I started loving the brand because once I saw this one in person, once I handled it, um, I just had to have it. I had like a dozen of Omegas and many other watches and I sold a lot of watches um, including my Zenith if you remember my last update. I sold. I had to sell my Zenith, uh, the vintage chronograph, and but it was a huge chunk of change, and I I always pay cash, so uh, it was a stack of bills on the table. But I never looked back. Once I got it, I uh, came home happy, and I never looked back, and never regretted it, never missed the money, uh, and ever uh, having f fun wearing this piece ever since and this is my this watch represents everything I like it's, it has a little bit shine which I like but it has a Roman numerals and it's it's gorgeous watch it's so damn sexy that I cannot uh, tell you how much I like like this one and it's just beautiful and that's the thing about collecting watches and um, this is Brightwing Crosswind, if I forgot to mention. And that's the thing about collecting watches for me and watch collections, is that uh, I don't need to have chronographs, diverse, whatnot. If I do have, it just happens to be so. But uh, every watch I have in my collection, I love, I like, and I could live the rest of my life with it. That's why I don't have a huge collection but I tried to move forward and I could definitely live for the rest of my life with this crosswind and just gorgeous watch. Uh, and uh, next watch I have here, it's, this is a super fun cool Timex. And once I showed you, I got this watch at the flea market for 20 euros. And once I t uh, showed you on this and I mentioned that I paid it 20 euros, I had a lot of cheeky offers for 20 euros. I wouldn't sell this watch even for 50 because it's a vintage Timex. But it's not that I didn't buy it because it's a Timex. I bought it because it looks so super sexy and so cool. And the only fault I have on this watch, it's the case is not stainless steel. But other than that, God, people uh, just love this watch and it has an original Tropic, Tropic rubber band and just works great. 
it's not a totally small watch as well for uh, and for a vintage watch and has a beautiful gray bezel and a gradient gray and gradient shades of gray just uh, ticks it all for me and this is an automatic watch I haven't been wearing it lately but um, it's not worth much but it's absolutely uh, one of my favorite watches and I just love to look at it and uh, definitely worth uh, every every euro every penny whatever you say it uh, because just, just it's a looker and I love the case shape as well uh, so moving on to the next watch in my collection and this is uh, also one of my favorite watches and this is Oris uh, Oris Artelier uh, watch and this is a bit of a dressy everyday watch but I call it my Rick Grimes watch because uh, ever since I started watching The Walking Dead and I didn't watch them from the beginning I usually ignored this show's popular things but uh, once I started and discovered it I binged watch it for like a month and uh, now I'm a huge fan. I always was looking at the Rick Grimes uh, watch uh, and uh, I know guys he wears Kenneth Cole but it looks it looks just like mine and when I wear it I, I like it and this watch is just bloody gorgeous once more. I love the dial. I don't know if you can catch the play of light. Uh, absolutely beautiful dial. You gotta see it for yourself. And the thing about dress watches, they look so much nicer in person than than other than on the photos and stuff like that. It has a beautiful bracelet. This one works great on a black band, brown band, just gorgeous. But I'm a, I like bracelets. Uh, I just keep this here for nice. But I do like a good bracelet, and uh, this is a one of the nicest quality bracelets I ever had and this one is powered by ETA uh, movement uh, nothing special but I like the red rotor and uh, when it, wherever you look at it it's just a perfect finishing attention to detail and that's why so many people like and recommend Aris because for a decent amount of money you will get a beautiful finish watch uh, for example and some other watch brands uh, charge at least twice as much uh, you can get this watch for around 600 700 dollars i think online and I, it's absolutely worth it it's beautiful gorgeous looking watch and especially uh, for me because i really really love it so that's it uh, this is my watch collection I do have a couple of mentions I have this Tissot but I don't call this in my collection this is a Tissot Quartz for a review and maybe for trading for something or that and I do have a vintage Omega uh, which is kind of too small for me this is Omega Seamaster uh, but it's under 35 millimeters. This one is 33 or 34 and doesn't look right on my wrist. So I have it, but I don't call it part of my collection. This is not staples. Uh, but this down there, uh, this is what I call my collection right now. So again, from from right to left, I have Seiko 5, Orient Blu-ray, um, Breitling J-Class Chrono. If you're interested to see further details about any of these watches, you can check it on my channel. Uh, I have a re full review of so all of these watches. Uh, Breitling Crosswind, uh, Timex Vintage Diver, and the uh, Oris Artelier. Uh, so here it is, guys. This was this is my collection, little collection of watches. Uh, and please do tell me what do you think. And not just what do you think, I would definitely love to hear about your collections. Uh, so if you want, you can share your collection in the comment section. And uh, I really enjoy looking at people's collection. And if you want to send a picture of your collection as well, you can find me at etcgunner at gmail.com and that's it guys that's it for me now for now and see you in the next one